Onassis. Kill him. Yes, yes, yes. It's your guy, Diddy Onassis, a.k.a. Onassis. Kill him. And today we have a special guest. Special guest indeed in the building. On air, on the show. The COD show. You know I'm your guy, your host, Diddy Onassis, a.k.a. Onassis. Kill him. But yeah, man. Yeah, man. We camped out out here, man. I met this guy last night in the lobbies of Infinite Warfare. He was doing his thing, I was doing my thing, but I was like, God damn, he just got a little more gas than I got. I was running on unleaded. He was running on that spacecraft shit. I don't even know what it's called. Jet fuel, baby. <laughs> yeah, it's your guy. I'd like to introduce this guy, man. Camp God. What's good, what's good? Hell yeah. What it do? Man, welcome to the show, man. Welcome to the show. Uh, I appreciate you coming through. Because I appreciate real killers. Get excited. Y'all already know I get excited when it's real killers in the building. Yeah, man. What's up, man? Introduce yourself. Tell them about your movement and your grind, man. Just real quick. What's good? What's good? Camp Guy Gaming here. Good. Car, no. Uh, part of the Bounty Hunters clan. Um, just like pub stomping pretty much and just yeah. running lobbies. Love it. That's what's up. <laughs> just running love you, man. And you know, it, it's it's a grind. You know, I got my own YouTube channel, Camp God Gaming. Check it out. Check him out. Streaming, streaming all day, and, every uh, day. Yeah, I stream all day, pretty much every day. Yeah, I drop it. There's this if, if I don't stream, I'm dropping a video. So every day there's gonna be a new content out there. You know, and I, I play uh multiple games. I don't only play COD, but Majority is COD. Hey, you know what? He said dropping content daily. Not just yeah. content, good content. That's the key. Check this guy. <laughs> Camp God. Camp God Gaming. All right. So when did you first, when was you first introduced to Call of Duty? <clears throat> wow. Um, first time I played Call of Duty, uh, I would have to say... It was World at War. I played it maybe for like an hour on somebody else's console. Okay. But when I really got hooked on it, um, I got with my wife and her her brother, which is my brother in law. Um, he was into Call of Duty heavy, so he was playing at the time. It was uh, Black Ops One, the original Black Ops, and. Right. She actually had the PlayStation 3. I didn't even have a console, bro. I, I, I was, you know, going to other people's house and playing and stuff like that. You know, just you, just, you saw the game. Fun. And you saw the game and you was like, oh, shit. Yeah. And my yeah. wife, when I met her, she had a brand new PS3 when it first came out. She never used it. No, I just met her. We just started going out. And I was like, yo, let me, let me, let me use that. Yeah, so, uh, that's nice when they have a console at, at the crib, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you can leave yours and log into your account, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I didn't know. I didn't even have one, bro. I didn't even have one. <laughs> hey, she she had, I, I knew she was a keeper because yeah. she had a, police, a PlayStation. <laughs> you already know, man. And uh, yeah. I got into uh, Black Ops with him. All right. And since day one, it's been hardcore kill confirmed. I've never played core. TDM, Dom, none of that. It's always been hardcore kill confirmed all day, every day from day one. And it just, it, I, I just got hooked from there, bro. I just got hooked from there. Yeah, man. It's that, it's that action, right? It's that action. That action. It's, I mean, the Call of Duty community is awesome. Um, Where? I've always been a gamer, low key. And. Mm -hmm. Once I started playing COD, and I'm like, damn, son, I'm fucking up, and, and people are getting upset. I, I like it when people get, I mean, it sounds messed up, but I like when I'm in a lobby and people get so frustrated that they want to send you hate messages or they start cursing you out or, yeah. or start the whole racism thing online. Yeah. You know, and I find it funny. It's entertaining for me. You know what I'm saying? So, sure. I, <laughs> for sure. So that so you so your woman or your your girl at the time introduced you well gave you the segue into the Call of Duty. Yes. And her brother and her brother in law. 
All right, so this is a key for you girl gamers or all you women out there. This is key. Keep a PlayStation. Keep a console just laying around just in case. Just in case you find a guy like Onassis, you know. That's a I key. Mean, believe, <laughs> believe it or not, if, if, you know, I could be doing, you know, relationship-wise, this is for the women out there, I could be doing a lot worse than, you know what I'm saying? I could be at the club yeah. grinding on women. I could be at bars picking up women. I could be hanging out with my boys doing stupid stuff. Mm -hmm. But I'm actually home with my daughter, taking care of my daughter, playing my video games. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. That's right. But ladies, don't trip. Don't trip. We could be doing a lot, a lot of other things out here. Mm -hmm. But we, but we, every every woman knows that that guy gamers don't cheat. Everybody knows that we don't don't cheat. Oh no, man, so how many hours do you say that? Well, <coughs> I would say days. But how many hours on the week that you average like in the game with gameplay? Wow, you have to whip out the calculator for that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, <laughs> bro. I mean, I tell you, it's enough to start arguments. Put it like that, man. I mean, I stream about anywhere from six hours to twelve hours every day. Yes. Um, so if you do, you know, just do the math. I mean, I try to treat it as a job because it is a job for me. It's it's. I'm trying to. It's like starting up a company or starting up your own business. You got to yeah. be married to it at first. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like starting off with zero subscribers. Mm -hmm. I'm at, I would say like 830 right now, somewhere around yeah. there. Um, I'm almost at 1K. So it's been a constant grind. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of late nights, early mornings, 24 hours streaming nonstop, you know, and being a dad at the same time and a husband. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a grind. It's a grind. It's a sacrifice. Yeah, yeah, it's a grind and a sacrifice, man. Yeah. And and for you other for you up and coming um I guess gamers, if you're new to the car community, you have to put those hours in or you're just going to be trash, man. You're going to be trash. <clears throat> Definitely if if you know, there's a lot of you'll get guys, trashed. There's a lot of guys out there that they get into lobbies or, or they'll send me messages, you know, good messages like, oh, you're good. How, how do I get better? Mm -hmm. You know, and it's like anything else. Practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. And, you know, once you got to put in those hours so you can start developing muscle memory. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. <clears throat> it sounds funny, but muscle memory is key. It's <laughs> key. Like your reaction time, mm -hmm. your map knowledge, spawn knowledge. Um, developing friendships and, 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 uh, and relationship with other gamers yeah. that are into doing the same thing, whether it's you have a bunch of friends that like spawn trapping, whether you like, you, you have a bunch of friends that are running gunners. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, if you're a rushing type of player and, and you're an aggressive type of player, make yourself some, some defensive friends, some friends that like running support, right. you know, like. You know, guys that are going to get you advanced UAVs and, and, and counters mm -hmm. that don't really run wardens. Like, for example, in, in Infinite Warfare, they don't run wardens or yeah. stuff like that because more kills the warden gets, less kills you're going to get. So, That's right. You know, you, if, if you got to you gotta know how to pick who you play with, you know. So, and if you like playing by yourself, play mm -hmm. free for all. Yeah, and and please, if you guys, man, this is for everybody. This is for everybody, and I know everybody, every good player and average player has this problem, guys and girls, because there's girls gamers out there too. So if you're if you're in a game, right, right, and you're one in twenty, just back out, back out. Or sit under a fucking rock or something, man. Yeah, just, yeah. You know, because people will be like, oh, it's just a game. I bought it. I do what I want. Yeah, but you're ruining the experience for somebody else. That's a I, major you know, effect. It, it, you don't... Mm. I, nobody likes to lose. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm doing bad, like, I'm getting smacked and I got nothing to, 
nothing that I could do. Why am I going to drag my team down? I'll just back out. You know, I'll just breeze off real quick. And hopefully, hey, with good luck, I hope you guys do a comeback without me because I'm just yeah, yeah. getting smacked. And these guys, they'll, they'll be in the lobby. They'll be 1-20. I oh. always feel like they're boosting. I feel like they're boosting. If you're one and twenty, there's no way in the hell you can go like I've seen the guy go four and forty four or something like that, four and forty eight. That's, wow. that's crazy. And you stay, crazy. and they stayed in the game. Uh, we've won a couple games like that, but I've also lost like that. But how in the hell do you die forty times? I just don't get it. I never done that before. What, what, what do they do that shit at? Like shit, man. Come on, go ahead and back out. You're messing up the community, brother. <laughs> You're messing up you're, the community. You playing with your knuckles because you don't got no thumbs. Yeah, you like, <laughs> damn. Man, no doubt. That's a major key. I'm glad you brought that up, man. So you do you consider yourself a sweat? Um That that's like a <clears throat> that's a trick question, bro. That's a, <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a, I mean I mean, okay. There's there's times where I do I would consider myself a sweat. Thank you. And there's times and there's times where I'm just chilling. You know, I'm playing to play. Yeah. You know, but if I run into a lobby where there's somebody with like a five KD, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm go sweat. I'm gonna put on that skinny bot and I'm mm-hmm. gonna pull out the Titan. You know what I'm saying? That's like the sweat class. That's right. You know, obviously. Um, I like an IW. I like running um, Warfighter with resupply and combat focus. You know, so I get okay. my my uh, personal radar all game. Mm-hmm. But when you're playing sweats with high KDs and people that actually know how to play, they got thumbs. Yeah. Um, you know they're gonna be running uh, cold blooded and blind eye and you mm-hmm. know all the perks. So mm-hmm. that that whole personal radar is out the window. So that's when you got to go sweat and either run skinny bot because the hit detection on the skinny bot is less than any other rig. What? So, you know, sometimes you're shooting at the skinny bot and the bullets are going through his arms and mm-hmm. legs and you're like, yo, I shot him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, it, it's just the way the game is. So I would typically typically go with the skinny bot yes. um, and uh the Titan, of course, the Titan is OP. You just spray, jump out of corners and just spray, and you know you get like you get eighty kills easy. So you're the first person that that well, the second person that came on the show and said they had just admitted that they were a sweat. I don't know what it's not embarrassing. All y'all sweaters out there, it's not embarrassing. No me embarrassed. It's, it's all no, good. It's, it's not. It's not embarrassing because you know <laughs> it's like. I'll be. I'll, I'll really like be a, a sweat. A sweat it's, like in the a camp. Rapper, it's like a rapper saying, "I'm not the best rapper alive." Exactly. Like, I just, I'm just think, doing it just to do it. I'm yeah, just rapping just to rap. If you don't think you're the best at what yeah. you do, then you shouldn't be doing it. You, you know, it's a fact. It, it's a goal. It's not like you're literally the best. But I'm not gonna tell myself I'm not. I'm not shit. I'm yeah. not shit. You feel me? Like mm-hmm. I feel like I'm great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, can I be better? Yes. Yeah. Are there better players? There's always gonna be always gonna be somebody. But better. but every person, there's always gonna be a person mm-hmm. to, to counter you in anything in life, whether it's basketball, football, baseball, soccer, hockey, whatever. There's always gonna be somebody better than you at everything. You, there's no person that's the best, you know, you, at at what they do. That's right. You know. <clears throat> um, oh. you know there's there's other things that help too, like modded controllers and fucking. Oh, oh, we're gonna get into no. that. We're gonna get into that. We're gonna get into that. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> All right, so how you feel about corner campus? To each his own. I mean, <laughs> nobody nobody likes corner campus. I mean, like the real corner campus, just just sitting in the corner <clears throat> of the LMG, not the. Not the guys that are just camping, like, you know what I'm saying? You're going to scroll through the map, taking it slow, or get, hit a head glitch here and there. I'm talking about the corner campers. Corner camp. The horrors of the game. Uh, they, they should be playing TDM. Thank you. Thank you. No, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't do that on Kill Confirm. One, you're not going to win, so nope. you're going to have a shitty win-loss ratio. You're going to have a fucking... Uh, uh, 20 point OKD, but it don't matter if you can't win games. That's like, right. you feel me? 
So you could you could do that at TDM. Um, <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie, I, I like to troll people sometimes. So there's times where I, I get bored. I, I put in a lot of hours in this game, so I do different things. Okay. You know. All right. Um, there's times where I go, I, I get on the game, and I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna yeah. piss people off, and I'm just gonna throw flashbangs all day today. <laughs> <laughs> so I just run <laughs> around, but, but and I'm flashbanging everybody, my teammates. I don't give a, but. <laughs> I just hear people raging like, you know, who's hard on side man? Yo, but yo, it's funny. I even made an account, a separate account. It's called I Flashbanged You. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I, got, yeah, I got a PSN that says I Flashbanged You. Oh, and shit. And I just run around. That account, all I do is run around the game and flashbanging everybody will resupply. Flashbang, get a kill or two so I can resupply and just flashbang, flashbang, flashbang. <laughs> of course, it doesn't affect me because I got the perks that, you yeah. know, look out for that, but, <laughs> you know, people get pissed <laughs> off. People get pissed off. It's the same way people get pissed off with shotguns. Yeah. People hate shotguns. I have another account called Shoddy to the Body that says it all. Yeah. All I use is shotguns. You know what I'm saying? So... <laughs> I use shotguns and overdrive, so I'm the, I'm that dude, super fast running around a corner, just hip firing my shotgun around, and just killing people. Um, you know, I like to have fun, so yeah. You know, would I sit in the corner and camp? Hell yeah, I get people mad all day with that shit. I will put on an <laughs> LMG and I'll sit in that corner in a room. I'll yeah. kill you, switch to the other corner, and when you come back in to get me, kill you again. And then when you come back to get me, then there'll be a C4 yeah. waiting for you. <laughs> That's the technical camping. That's what I'm talking about. That's what's up. All right, so let's let's talk about hate mail, man. Hate mail. Hate mail. Hey, being that you're you're uh, a pseudo sweat, you know you get a lot of <laughs> a lot of hate mail, man. I know it. Yeah, I know. yeah, I do. I do. Let's start off I with. Start off with this piece that you sent me, man. I don't know if you guys can see it out there in COD show land. Well, thank God I don't get it every day. But uh, <laughs> Call of Duty, let me tell you something. Let me, let, me, let me tell you something. As quiet as it's kept. Yeah. There is a such thing as the Call of Duty elite. Hmm. Um, there are a handful of players mm -hmm. that are really good. Um, you guys are probably subscribed to them. They're you know they're YouTubers. Um, we all know each other. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We all know each other. Um, do we play with each other? Uh, rarely. Mm -hmm. Um, do we like to play against each other? Not really. Um, mm. usually when we see each other on, on a lobby, one or the other backs out. It's more of a respect thing. Okay. Um, not because we're scared. Yeah. It's because I don't want to fuck your stats up. You don't want to fuck my stats up. We want to have fun. We don't want to sweat. We don't like to sweat. You know, we're sweaties, but we don't like to sweat. We don't like to play against people who are really good. Now, don't get it twisted. There are times where you're like, damn, it's boring. And you see somebody in the lobby, you're like, fuck it, I'm going to stay. Yeah. Hoping that hoping that they stay, but they end up leaving because they see you. I'm like, fuck, I was trying to go incognito. Uh, like, I was trying to... <laughs> and, that's and, a, you know, and that's the reason why a lot of YouTubers play under different accounts yes. several different accounts yes yes mm. yes we we try to stay away from it from from each other you know if we're not playing with each other we, we really try not to play against each other so what i was trying to say by that is the community is really small it is so mm -hmm. you'll probably run into me if I'm, I'm playing 12 hours a day so i'm sure at some point during the day Especially hardcore kill confirm. Yeah, especially hardcore kill confirm. You're a hardcore kill confirm player. You're definitely gonna run into me at some point during the day or maybe the next day. Yeah. But that's how small the community is. So right. 
once I get the hate mail, a lot of people either avoid me or block me so they don't play against me again, or mm-hmm. they'll see me in the lobby and leave. If they play against me again, then I'll get another hate mail. You know, but that's about it with that. Yeah. Well, Frostbite, this guy Frostbite. <laughs> oh, he was butthurt, bro. Hey, this he is, was... I'm just going to read it. I'm just going to read it. Go fuck yourself. No, hope my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Go fuck your grandmother while I fuck your mother and little bitch sister in the ass. You fucking cheat, hacker, faggot, bitch. And you go eat a fucking dick, you fucking pussy. <laughs> Good gracious. Uh, bro, he was mad. He like, was mad. God. You know, it was, it was funny. He, had, he actually had a good KD. Like, I, I was in my mind when the lobby started. I'm like, okay, I'm going to have a little competition here. Uh, you know? And, uh,. I, I want a little more sweat than what I had to, and um, that caught you know oh. got me a hate mail. <laughs> oh, do you even remember the game? Like what you did to the dude? Like what the hell? Um, I don't remember the exact score. I know that I made him go negative. Yeah, His, the whole the whole other team went negative, <laughs> and my entire team went negative except me. So it's like. They were they were beating up my team. They were fucking up my team. Yeah. But I fucked up their entire team. So it was like they could have like it, it was it was crazy. It was a crazy game for them. I was just I, it was actually on on uh, on precinct. Yeah. It was actually on precinct, and you know you got to know how to control the spawns. Okay. I'm running. I was running solo. So when I play solo and I'm playing hardcore kill confirmed, um, I'm not gonna say I can't because there's three separate entrances there. But I was playing the wood room, that middle yeah, room. Say you, was hold, you hold. You was holding yeah, down the area. I, I hold down the area pretty yeah. much. You know, I'll jump back and I'll watch the cat side. Like I'll jump to the cat side, kill people there. Then I'll jump down to the middle. Kill people there. I'll slide over to the side, kill people through where the trucks are, and then I'll run back to the cat side. Like, I have a routine mm-hmm. because I already know where the spawns are. Right. Um, not only that, the personal radar helps. You know what I'm saying? If I'm confused real quick and I don't know where they're spawning, pop that personal radar. It'll automatically tell you where they're spawning. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, right. you know, I, I, mm-hmm. I, played, I played that game very tactical because I saw that you know, I got dealt with a bad hand of the team. They were running a full six. Okay. And I had I had everybody that was negative on my team. I'm running solo, of course. So I put on the pack rat. Pack rat. Yeah. The reason I put on the pack rat is because I saw that the team was trash. So I wasn't going to get that much extra score from them. So the pack rat helped me out by staying up longer. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So. If you know you got a shitty team, there's no reason to use kickback. It's okay. going to take longer for you to get it, mm-hmm. and your teammates are not going to give you that many points. You gotcha. know what I'm saying? You can't. You you only run kickback when you got killers on your team because you know yeah. you're going to rack up on the score. Right. That's smart. Okay. That's smart. And then I put on the the Nova, which right. is the counter UAV. I put that on, and the uh, the Vulture, obviously the Dragonfly. Okay. All right, so you you ripped him a new asshole. That's what you're really just saying. And you know, yeah, you know what? On the call on the COD show, for me myself and the camp guard, hey, so, hey Frostbite sixty nine, we're just gonna give you a big fuck you. That's, 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 that's just it. We're sending trash ass messages like this. We don't condone this at the, the COD show. We gonna laugh. Nah, we gonna laugh at it. You know, you know what's crazy? Because he's never. I I, I always do a. Uh, Mm-hmm. Private chat. I try not to play with the game chat on. You know what I'm saying? So for all he knows, I could have been a little kid. You feel me? Like yeah. I could have been fucking ten years old and he's sending this type of message. Yes, yeah, that's you know? very irresponsible irresponsible, dog. Come on, Frostbite. You gotta do better, man. We gotta do better as a community out here, man. You know, you you could have sent that mail and say, Hey man, you could have sent us some love mail. But you chose man. that hey, we don't condone that here at the C O D show. He could have been GG, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, man, come so on, cool. man. Get uh, out of 
Yeah, you want to? You could have done like everybody else does. Do you want to party up? Do you want to party yeah. up? <laughs> Any other hate mail that you want to talk about or hate messages that I say? Um, yeah, I got a couple of those. Um, okay. Let me see. Who do I have? Who, who am I going to go first? Hey, I'm here, hey, we're here for you at the COD show. Anytime you want to talk about the hate, this is the place. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So for this guy right here, his name is Deadly Thumbs. <laughs> 38. Yo, know, when you cheat like that, you should really make sure that when you're in a lobby, that you're really careful with who you do it around. Um, shit. That's all she wrote on that profile. Have a nice day. <laughs> That's all she wrote on that profile. So he's like, what is he like? The, the infinite warfare security police? What they have a police commission? Wow. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's like, that's all she wrote on that That's account. all she wrote on that account. <laughs> You'll never see that account again. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, I have uh, Mad Dog. Mad Dog. Where are you? Mad Dog 902. And for, <laughs> the, for the people that don't know who Mad Dog is. He's the clan leader of GST. Okay. A lot of people know that that clan is pretty big. A lot of people know them. They they originated in Ghost. Hmm. Um. Uh, here you go. Here's your clan leader. Laggy Wi-Fi bums on this game, and you don't have to play against them because they're bums. Because they play wireless and they think they're good when they just like the game. And that's you and your friend Izzy over there. <laughs> he goes. He says. He goes. You're funny. You play wireless. You lag the game and actually think you're good. YouTube. What a joke, wireless bum. So what did you do to him in the game? Like what? 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 What got him so burnt hurt? I mean, that's one of the, he's one of those people, man. Like I said, the community is small, so you're gonna run into a lot of the same people, man. It just so happens that every time I run into him in the clan, I, I've spanked him. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So this is like his excuses. I'm a lagger, or I'm, I'm lag switching, or I'm hacking, or uh, I use a keyboard and a mouse, you know, mm -hmm. when clearly I stream. You can see if I'm using my keyboard and a mouse while I'm playing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I do not, I own two controllers. Okay. I own two controllers. That's my other controller. There you go. It's controller number one. All right. So. Regular controller. As a matter of fact, guys, I'd be busting people's ass with a broken controller. Wow. Okay. Okay. And then this is my second controller. Mm-hmm. And if you look, it, it, I don't know if you can see it, all that black mark right there, yeah. that's because the sticks are so worn down that you can actually, when I push up on the on the thing, you can actually see into the controller from the bottom. That's how worn down it is. Wow. So, okay. You know, but you I, only I, thing, only mod that you have on your your controllers are the control freaks, and that's not even really. No, a it's not a no. It's not a control freak. It's not a control freak, bro. <laughs> uh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> we gotta clarify that. You see this? The yeah. rim on this it cuts my finger. There's no rubber. There's okay. nothing. It's worn down to the bare plastic where it has a sharp edge. So what I do is, uh, these are cushions. These, this uh -huh. not a, it's not a control freak. See, it doesn't give me no extra height, no nothing. It's just a cushion. Dang. It's, flat. it's a rubber. So you're you, out, you, out, you out here, the regular, regular controller, no mods. No, 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 no. I'm out here with a broken a controller. A broken regular <laughs> controller. Straight out of the box, <laughs> PS4 controller. Yeah. Dropping the hammer. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, I, see. I mean, so I, all I use is stick and move. Stick know, and move. That, that, that's that's all I use, guys. I, I, use I heard stick that stick and move, move was the shit, man. I, I hadn't tried it yet. Um, at time. first, at first, um, is it it'll be a little hard. It'll be yeah. a little hard to get used to. Okay. Because you used to jump in with X. But if you look, when you're holding the controller, I'm going to turn this way, okay? When you're holding a controller and you're playing Call of Duty, 
the game comes with the bottom triggers preset. Now, if you look how much time it takes you to actually press this all the way down mm. to the time that it takes to just click on the top. That's right. You got a faster reaction time clicking on the top than the bottom. So what you guys want to do, you want to use flip. Okay. Stick and move. Now, stick and move, what it is, if I'm playing, I'm aiming and I'm shooting, right? Right. And I want a war run. Now I gotta take my thumb off of my aiming, um, which is R um R three. Hmm? Gotta take my thumb off of that and press X and then go back to aiming. Gotcha. Now when I'm playing stick and move, I'm aiming, I'm clicking R three and still aiming at the same time. I never move. Yes. My fingers. So yes. that it, it's seamless. It's seamless gameplay right there. So, of course, if I'm playing against these people that don't run like that, my reaction time is going to be better. They're going to be like, oh, my God, this guy's jumping everywhere. He still shoots me. And, and mm -hmm. you know, he's a jetpacker. You know, like, I do things that is available for everybody. Everybody. You do not have to pay extra. You do not have to fucking be a rocket scientist to figure it out. Fucking go ahead, put it on stick and move flip, go in a private match, put the fucking bots, put yeah. the bots on a hard veteran, and fucking play against the bots till you get used to it. Yeah. Don't go play against the bots on, on easy, because when you're not going to play easy people all the time on, in, in fucking online, mm -hmm. you so, want to play them on veteran and mm -hmm. get you, and what you do is play it on veteran and don't get any kills unless you're in the air. Damn. That's that's the number one rule. When you're practicing, don't you can't kill no. That's the rule. You can't kill nobody unless you're jumping. Wow. Okay, that's how you get used to the whole just pressing R three. Boom, boom, boom. Seamless. Boom, 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 boom. You know, and, and never hold it. You want to tap, 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 tap. That's yeah. how you see when people jump that they fucking stay in the air longer than everybody else. Mm -hmm. It's because they're just tapping okay. on R three. Or they got a scuff controller or some type of mod. Hey, you hear that? That's game. Wow, that's game. Okay. Okay. So your sensitivity. What you playing on as far as sensitivity? Okay. Every Call of Duty has been different. Uh -huh. um, in this one, I'll give you the exact stuff right now. I run 11-11. Okay. Um, there's times that depending what game mode I'm playing or what style I'm going to play, I do drop it down a little bit to 7-7 seven, seven because when you have it on high sensitivity, you tend to overshoot things. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So right. if I'm playing core, I'll drop it down because, of course, you want to be that accurate. You don't want the gun to be... You know, you move, tap it a little bit, and it's like everywhere. You want to, you know, be be consistent with your shot. And hardcore is a little different. Hardcore is not about accuracy. It's about, see, people get it twisted. Hardcore is not about who's the more accurate. It's about who has the quicker snap. That's right. It's about, it's about snap, mm -hmm. reaction time. And whoever has the most reaction time is the winner of the gunfight, period. That's right. That's right. That's a major key. Of course, you maxed out. What was your quickest, your fastest max out in the Call of Duty, any Call of Duty? Like far as uh, you started at World at War? Well, Black Ops 3 was my fastest. Um, okay. In the first year that Black Ops 3 was out, I master prestiged 12 times. I reset my stats 12 times. What? Uh, I have plenty of friends that can vouch for me on that. What do you mean? Well, hold on. You mean going to 30 12 times? Not 31,000? No, I'm talking about maxed out. Because remember, the first when the, when the first when the game was first out, it was only max prestige, and then they brought it to yeah. max prestige one thousand. That's right. Okay. I so I I did max prestige twelve to, times know, over. Twelve twelve times over. Yeah, in the first year. <sighs> um, and that game that game is based on score per minute, so KD doesn't really matter. You know, you can have a great KD, have a shitty score per minute, so you get no respect. 
Mm -hmm. Um, it's all about the score per minute. I think I had almost a, it was like five something, almost six hundred score per minute. So even to this day, I'll jump into Black Ops Three. I start a kill confirm game, and you know you can check the lobby leaderboards, and I'm still on the top. Um, I haven't played Black Ops Three since um Infinite came out, so that would be what two years. Yeah, it's about and two years. I'm, I'm still in the top 1000s in the world and I haven't played that game in that long. Oh. And there's people who there's people who play it consistently. You know what I'm saying? So, so you were you you were on top of the leaderboard. Yeah, when I was playing it, yes. Score per minute? In in, in no, in overall. Overall. Score kill confirm, yeah. Oh shit. Um what are they So how long did you um how long did you think you stayed at the top at number 1 spot? Um not long, not long. You guys know your boy Kareem. Um, he was grinding, and he had a couple of people with him that were helping him grind. So once he got into the whole spawn trapping on in Nuketown, bro, it was a wrap. Wait, nobody wait, there. You, you nobody said, was you, gonna. You said help him grind. Yeah, help him grind. You know, um, basically, in order to spawn trap in Nuketown, you gotta have a party of six, right? Um, you gotta have you gotta set everybody, up. everybody yeah. running sentry guns and uh, guardians. You gotta set it up. Yeah, you gotta set it up. And he'll sit in front of their spawn with the shotgun, with the brekkie, and just watching them spawn. I mean, you guys could go on his YouTube channel. He 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 says it himself. He exploited the game. You know what I'm saying? So he got to be number one. And mm. you know, once that happened, it kind of like I lost that motivation to to grind the leaderboards because I was like, you know, I did it legit. Okay. Um, no spawn trapping, and I kind of felt like, damn. So I got, I felt cheated. You feel me? I felt oh. cheated. Um, and I was like, fuck it, fuck the leaderboards. I'm not gonna go for that shit no more. And I was just playing to play. You know what I'm saying? As long as I was, I'm, I'm happy at least. Even, even now, I'm still top one thousand in the world in that game, and I'm still happy. You know, is that a yeah. world out of the millions and millions of people? Exactly, you know, like that actually play the game. That's great. Yo, that's, you know, and that's dope, man. Congratulations to you for holding down that spot, man. Just even getting there, you know. What I mean, out of like then, you said, uh, out of all the players in the world, that's yeah. that's a tough. That's tough. And in Ghost, you. in Ghost, I was yeah. number one in the world for a while. Um, I had a couple of people that used to play with me. Um, shout out to my boy Topper. Um, he used to stay up on play nights and days with me. Um. Mm. And uh, me and him, we were always going at it. You know, there's a couple of more players, and uh, we we all used to just fight. Like, I'll go to sleep, wake up, oh shit, somebody passed me. You know what I'm saying? I gotta fucking grind. I'll be there for hours and hours until I pass him, then go to sleep. You know? Yeah. And it, it, it's crazy. The grind for the leaderboard is crazy, man. You you That's literally dope. have to put in time. And uh, we stood top ten, top five almost to the end of the game and then we just all you know had real life issues to deal with and Without we fell we fell off of that you know for a while still and uh yeah respect that's still a res hey, salute to y'all man salute to you shit thank you, thank you. the top of the leaderboard people don't understand that that's a major feat if you're in the top even the top 1000 the top 100 100 whatever whatever it is that's 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 big time man what? it's like it's like if you look at the leaderboard right now i'm looking at it right now for iw mm -hmm. time played these guys that are in the top they have 60 hours 70 hours played i mean seven 60 days 60 70 days, days okay. played bro that's insane like i play a lot and i only have 24 days played and I'm I'm right now I'm I'm ranked in score at 689 in the world. Okay. You know, so think about it. Like the grind is real. Like to play 61 days, bro. That's like you know how much dog, I'm telling you, I play a lot. I feel like I play a lot. I'm only 12 days in. But damn. You know what I'm saying? So most of the time though, you gotta you know, to be honest, uh -huh. you know, most of the time people people what they do is not everybody does it don't get it twisted okay. but some of these guys that have that many days played they have multiple people playing on their account got you 
You know what I'm saying? So they're always online. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? So yeah. Yeah. Koreans, like a Korean savage, he's on that shit forever. He only got 45 days played. These motherfuckers got 70. How the fuck do you do that? 70. Yeah. How the, you know what I'm saying? That's, that number's just mind boggling. Bro, yeah, yeah. These people look. All y'all mathematicians out there, do the damn math. I 70 only, times I, 24. Check it, out. check it out. I only played in my Infinite Warfare career. Uh -huh. I'm 689, okay, which is good. Okay. With Respect. only 5,000 games played. Okay? 5,000 games. Only 5,000 games. These guys got 26,436 games played. Wait, what? 36,000? Yeah. 26. 26,436 26, games played, bro. Wow. I only got 5,000. So hey, that's good. Let, let that sit in for a second. Okay. Hey, that, that, that amount of time is mind boggling. I'm just thinking about the wear and tear on your, your hands, your controller. Like, like you know, so, just, just 12 days played. I, I'm on my second controller. Shout out to y'all that's on that real grind like that, man, because I got a job, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but like y'all, like you said, man, to, to to a lot of the to a lot of us, this is this is a job. You know what I'm saying? This is something yeah. that we like to do and we want to do for money. Or for, for just for fun. But we take it that serious. I say this to say I say that to say this. We take it as serious as a job. Say that. So, so what do you think about advanced warfare? Advanced warfare. Yeah, I thought it was alright. Well, I wasn't. I wasn't too crazy about it when it came out. Okay. Um, definitely the the movement system on IW is way better when it comes to the whole jetpack thing. Mm -hmm. Um, IW is better, but yeah. I feel like Black Ops Three is smoother. Black Ops 3 is very smooth. And the reason yeah. why I asked you about Advanced Warfare, I just wanted to know, because, you know, Advanced Warfare was the introduction to all the advanced movements that we see now today. And it was the birth. That game birthed a whole lot of things that we see in IW. And uh, we're probably going to see a lot more of that in the future of Call of Duty. But, I mean, my take, Call of Duty Ghost was my all-time favorite Call of Duty. Oh yeah, and coming from Ghost going into Advanced Warfare, I was like, man, I just, I just the three level maps. I just don't, I just can't mess. I just don't like it. You know what I'm saying? This is not my cup, cup of tea. And it's hard to say you don't like something. You're not hating on anything. I'm just saying it wasn't my, it wasn't my cup of tea. I love Call of Duty so much. I just could not not play it. But I just didn't put that much time into it, man. But the advanced movements. How did you transition from Ghost to Advanced Warfare? Didn't if you didn't play a lot of advanced warfare, how did you adapt your gameplay going into the advanced movement era? Um, well, first off, Ghost actually popped my nuke out cherry. My first ever nuke chem strike was on Ghost. After that, bro, it was like what? Uh, <laughs> <is that>? hey, <laughs> what did you end with? What was your, what was your um, how many chems did you drop? Do you remember? I don't remember, bro, but they were they were a lot. I was using, uh, I don't remember what the gun was called. It was the Remington. It was the Marksman uh -huh. rifle. Yeah. I used to run that with, with, um, with Thermal, and I used to love playing on the map, but damn. They had the hill. It was kind of like foresty, and it was like a precinct. Oh, I forgot the name of that shit, man. Mm. Had, a, had a construction area. And oh, had prison, a prison break? Yeah, prison break. Yeah, and I used to sit on the top of the hill. They used to face the back part on the bridge. Okay, and I just and I used to put the sentry gun on one side of the hill, and I used to stay on that side. And I used to put a thermal scope, bro. Yes, sir. And that was a spawn down there. Yeah, and I just remember just clapping people, clapping people, clapping people, and just dropping fucking camp strikes every other game, bro. Because I I used to just lobby shop. If I wasn't that map, I wasn't playing it, bro. I was just. <laughs> Hell yeah. I was just backing out, finding that map, and I would just stay and drop chem strikes. 
the clan wars were dope in that game. I don't what? know if you guys remember that. That clan it had war the shit. App. It had the app for yeah. that thing, bro. And, that's, and the app was live, man. You you know you know we were staying up all night trying to win those battles. You get that notification. You just we just lost such and such, or we just won such and such, man. Yeah. That was the shit. I hope they do something similar to that. In this I World hope they War do two, that man. in World War Two. Yeah, I hope so. We too. need that back. Yeah, you know it, it made the game more interesting. Like you were actually playing for a reason. You was mm-hmm. grinding, not just for leaderboards, but you was actually grinding for your squad. You know what I'm saying? So right. That was dope. And then the whole transitioning to advanced warfare, um, I grew up around um, consoles. Like, I, growing up, I, I never really had um, that many consoles myself, but my friends always had the cool, the cool shit. Um, gotcha. So gotcha. I, I played Halo. You know, I would stay over at my friend's house and play Halo. So I was used to whole boost jump and shooting. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. I grew up around shooters. I don't know if you guys remember Nintendo 64 GoldenEye. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. You know what I'm saying? Most definitely. You know, so, so I've always been into the whole shoot em, shoot em up games. You know what I'm saying? So first-person shooters. Mm-hmm. And uh, just when when I got into that, bro, it didn't feel, it didn't feel any different. Um, I buy one game a year. Okay. Sometimes, sometimes two. You know, recently I've been buying two games a year, which is... Um, Battlefield and Call of Duty. All right. So those are the only two games I play. Battlefield one. Okay. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. These are just I got more in the in the living room, but this is the my immediate uh games that I grab and put in quick. Okay. Um so right. Advanced Warfare, I got Ghost, Black Ops 3, and then these I do for the stream for the wife, but she buys, not me. Uh, Dying Light and Outlast. Okay. <laughs> you know, but, you know wife, wife plays games too, so. Yeah. But as far as me, yeah. those are my, my go-to games right there. So if it's safe to say that Advanced Warfare birthed the advanced movement, could we argue yeah. or say that Advanced Warfare also generated or gave us Gave players the want and ability to want to play with a scuff controller with paddles on the back or another type of controller like the cinch controller with buttons on the back. Would you say that it birthed those type of that type I of would, hardware? I would say it didn't the birth it for, because yeah. those, those controllers, those those to me, no matter how you put it, scuff controller, whatever, it's a modded controller. Bro. That's right. The controller, the controller doesn't come like that. That's right. So when people be like, "Oh, I don't have a modded controller, I got a, a scuff," right. bro, that's a modded controller. At the end of the day, it's not the original one. It's not. It's aftermarket. It's right. a modded controller. It's modded. Okay, but it didn't birth it because there was already mod controllers back in the day they had the one with the little turbo button yep the, it, it was kind of like the jitter the jitter, the jitter they mod. call it the jitter mod the jitter or no, whatever now yeah. it's called the jitter mod before yeah. it was a turbo button you know what i'm saying yeah they had controllers like that already made and that's right all types of controllers it, it, out there that you could have bought had a little button layout or a little configuration you could just do, yeah. hit a drop shot whenever you wanted to reload yeah. faster yeah mm-hmm. yeah so they was already out there now what it did was it made people mm-hmm. who aren't that good at the game. Not everybody that uses, don't get me wrong, not everybody that uses a scuff. Is, they're not. Is bad. That's right. People that use scuff that could play with, without a scuff, but it's more convenient for them right. um, to play with scuff. It's more of a convenience. Um, but there's people out there that actually helps them get better because they don't have that, that skill of snapping and, and, and quick reactions. So for them, it's a lot easier just to not move their hands and just click a button in the bottom of the control. Right. You know, so then you got people that use the jitter mod shit. For what? I don't fucking know. These, these, are, ty- <laughs> these are people that ruin the game, you know. I've, I've played plenty of people with jitter mods and they still get spanked. And they tell me later on, yeah, you know, I had a jitter mod, man. Good shit, you still fucked me up. You know, so... <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it it didn't give birth to it. Did it did it make people want it more? Yes. Yeah. Um is it gonna make you better? Not really. Yeah, because you gotta have a your feel for the game and your and game intelligence is really what's gonna make you 
mm-hmm. the shit in any Call yeah. of Duty or yeah. any game. Period. It, it, it's like it's like going and buying a a, a, a five thousand dollar baseball bat. And thinking you're gonna get go to major league and hit home runs every fucking game, or fucking just because you put on Jordans is gonna make you fucking magic fucking Mike on the fucking basketball court. No, bro, it's not gonna. If you don't have the basics down packed or mm-hmm. some type of skills, it's not gonna do nothing for you. You're gonna waste right. two hundred bucks on something that's gonna look fancy on your on your thing. I don't use that shit. If I, I could imagine if I did, I'd be I'd be even better than what I am. Hell yeah. But would I want to invest two hundred or something dollars? No. If you guys want to donate, hey, the link is in the description of hey. my channel. Go, go ahead and donate, and I'll make a scuff for you. Donate, <laughs> man. We're just trying. We're trying to make better content out here for y'all, man. Donate, yeah. donate. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I'll do a video using a scuff for y'all. I'm, I'm already dropping eighty plus kills, man. I wouldn't mind dropping a, a, a one fifty, two hundred. Speaking of kills, most kills. What game mode? What game? Most kills of all time. All um, time most kills. All time most kills for me. Um, it was in Black Ops Three. Okay. I got a hundred and twenty six kills, four deaths, and uh, I think it was fifty something confirms. Hey, what the? F- Hold on. This and it was on. This uh, shit is uh, over with. This shit is over with. One hundred twenty six. Yeah, I had a party of man, six. Man, come on, man. I had a party of six. Wait, 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 wait. What? Hold on. Let's fuck the interview up, man. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, man. It was it was epic, man. It was epic. All right. Let me get my shit together so we can actually talk about this 126 kill. <clears throat> All right. That's some real killer type shit. All right, come on. Um, Black Ops yeah, 3, was, 126 Black kills. O- yep. I think I had a I had four deaths and like fifty six confirms. Um, I was playing with a with a group of six at the time, and once I saw that I had fifty kills, I called no tags. Um, I still had over seven minutes left in the game. You know what I'm saying? Like it was it was so crazy. I I had um. My raps, my wraith, and my orbital in like the first two minutes of the game, um, and it was an aquarium at that. Oh man! Yeah, so <laughs> it, it was like, bro, I was just racking up, racking up, racking up. I had combat focus, and I was running wraith, um, hater, and and raps, and it was just back to back, back to back pipe. And then I was running around with the fucking brekkie, so you know. That doesn't help. <laughs> I was just hip firing. Just <sighs> put it like this: it got to the point where I couldn't even call them out because they were they were stacked up. I, I was stacking them up. Yeah, you, you probably ran over them a couple times. You like should you were able to call it in? Yeah, yeah I got you. I, I was, I, it was. I couldn't call it, and you know the people I was playing with, man. They got to them. Most kills man. in Infinite Warfare. Not Infinite. Yeah, yeah. Infinite Warfare. I think the dropped, most kills was like 107. 107. I think it was on uh, uh-huh. on Infinite. It was 107, and I think I died maybe like 10 times, 10 to 15 times, yeah. And usually I averaged like 30, 40 confirms a game. I, I'm an OBJ player. I like to play OBJ. I like to get confirms. You know, I, yeah, the name is Camp God Gaming, but doesn't mean that I camp, guys. I hey, camp check the time. It. Hey, <laughs> no camping. I mean, I I can attest to that. No, I hadn't seen him camp. People be like, "Oh, but your name is Camp God Gaming." It's just a name. Don't go by that. I was you know, like, I, camp. I was like, "Damn!" Because like, you're on, you're on the other team the other night. I was like, "This motherfucker's name is Camp God Gaming." I don't see him camping in that game. I think you had eighty seven. <laughs> I think I was the only person on the other team went positive. Everybody was they went super negative, man. Super negative. Yeah, I remember seeing somebody had like fifty something deaths, forty eight <laughs> deaths, thirty something deaths. Top top five guns. Call of Duty all the time. All time, all time. top five favorite guns. Oh man. Oh. The Remington Marksman rifle. That was one. Uh, the UMP forty five. That's two. 
epic. I don't give a fuck. Most epic fucking gun on the planet that I personally loved was the honey badger. Man, what you talking about? Boy, that honey badger. <laughs> the- Hell yeah. <laughs> the honey badger. Come on, badger, man. Come on. Right. Hey. Um, Put that in the game. I, I was hoping Infinite Warfare just drop it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Have it as uh you know saying like one of the new guns like call it something else call it the fucking the honey do badger you don't whatever yeah the honey badger was though what? so we got we got what well, we said we said the remington they said the remington uh, honey badger mm-hmm. um what else evil weevil which is the 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 weevil from black ops three I like that gun I like that. Um, Brecky, you gotta have the Brecky in there. I don't care what nobody says. That's a shotgun ever. Yeah. Um, and the Titan. I like the Titan. That's a dope list. It's <laughs> a dope list. <laughs> you know? Oh, in the UMP 45, so I make it six. The UMP 45 from Modern Warfare. Top three Call of Duty is of all time. Top three Call of Duty of all times. Yeah. Black Ops 2. Um, I believe Black Ops 2 was um, the one with um, Swarms, right? Yep. Right. Yeah. <gasps> that was my favorite Call of Duty ever. Ghost. Mm. Black Ops 3. Mm. Um, World at War. And uh, Infinite Warfare. <laughs> Those are my top fives. Okay. Nice list. A nice list. Infinite Infinite Warfare. It's one of those people that are not good at it don't like it. Yeah, it's like that'll, that'll make you not like it if you're not good at it. <laughs> everybody, everybody that tells me, "Oh, I don't like that game." Fuck the jetpacks. I love it. Man. It's nice because they suck at it. You know what I'm I saying? Love. Because I could go play Remastered right now and kick ass. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I could go 25 and 0 on Remastered, and that's boots on the ground. You know, so there's no excuse for for the whole jetpacks, no jetpacks. You're just not good at it. You're just not good, right, right? Yeah, you can't you can't say the game is whack because you're not good at it. All time high is KD. Like KD, like standing KD, or in a game KD. Uh let's let's say standing KD. If you standing want to. standing KD would have been goals. I had a, a three point four. Okay. That's, that's, that's dope. What about uh game, Katie? In game, Katie. In the okay. game. Uh, currently, we're, we're gonna talk about currently. Okay. Um, highest KD right now is forty nine point oh in infinite. I mean, yeah, in infinite warfare, okay. and highest streak without dying, highest kills without dying is. 53. What? Yeah, so I killed 53 people without dying. Damn. That's what's up, man. You a real killer. Ooh, 53 without dying. Man, shit. World War II. The beta just dropped. I think it's the last night of the beta. The last day of the beta. What was your thoughts on the game? I like it. Um, definitely needs some hardcore in it. Definitely. Um, of course, like any core, you shoot them, you empty a whole clip, they turn around, shoot you once, and you die. Okay. So you know that that's never fun for a hardcore player. Right. Um, the guns are pretty cool. I already see there's a couple of guns that are overpowered. Um, but it's okay because you could use them too. So that's why you know. Yeah, you ever, you, ever, you ever see people or, or hear about people complaining about, yeah, oh, yeah, man, yeah. you're using the MV4, you're using yeah. it. Well, you should, you could use it too. It's free. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I tell them. It's free. Yeah, um, man. There are great. some overpowered guns, though, um, in that game. So for people that don't like that, beware. The score streaks, I think they're good. Score streaks are not overpowered. I think they're right where they need to be. Um, they have a good variety. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, especially uh, the flamethrower. I like that it, they did show that in the trailer, and they did put it in the game. So it is a score streak. You can put it on and run around, flamethrowing people, burning them up as a score streak. Yeah. Um, 
they got care packages. They got all the mortars and, and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Parrot troopers, which is kind of like, let's say, like dogs. Squad um, mate. And, uh, squad mate, whatever. Yeah, yeah, they just come and do whatever. And the kills goes towards you. Yeah. Um, they, I, I did the, um, the, the uh, World War Two review show last week, earlier in the week, man. And everybody was saying that they needed to uh, buff those paratroopers, man. Yeah, they were kind of weak. They were kind of weak. Um, that's mm-hmm. definite. And <clears throat> to be honest, that's why I don't use it. Um, they need to buff the the attack airplane, the one that swoops down. Yeah. Um, that thing I was getting nothing. <laughs> I would get one, one, two kills max. Um, they need to do something about that. Gotcha. But of course, it, it's it's core, so it's whatever. Um. Now, looking forward to the to November. Oh hell yeah, bro! I, I look forward to every November, bro. Yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. I look forward to every November. Yes, That's why I buy my my games. I already paid for it. You know what I'm saying a hundred plus. Yeah, so, you know, I got everything. Oh yeah, season pass everything. Season can't pass. Got to got to do it. You can't half step out here, man. You can't. Yeah. yeah. You can't. Every every Call of Duty I always get the the most expensive one. Right. Go ahead, and knock it out. All you have to do is sit and wait. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but besides that, man, that game is dope. I like it. I like it a lot. Mm-hmm. Now, here's the here's the thing. A lot of people are gonna hate me for this, guys. All right. It is the bootleg battlefield. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. You're the second person on this show that said that. The beta drop. What was your reaction to the WW two? beta like your first impression mm-hmm. my first impression was um they were taking a, a page out of battlefield's book and i still feel that way it is the when it come even even when it came down those new maps that they dropped even when it came, as soon as the game started i saw the map i said bro this is battlefield i'm playing battlefield right now like mm-hmm. <laughs> bro it was it, it just the only thing that it lacked was the way that you know you could blow walls up like in battlefields and stuff like that a realistic game you actually have to calculate your distance with your scope because the bullets actually drop the further they go right you know what i'm saying so it takes a little bit more skills for you snipers out there to play that so when people be like oh yeah you know like when I meet people, I'm like, yeah, bro, I'm a fucking sniper and I'm a beast and I play Call of Duty. I'm like, yeah, I want to see you snipe on, on Battlefield, bro. Let me see. They'll play Battlefield <laughs> and get fucked up. I'm like, bro, I thought you was a sniper, bro. What happened? I don't um, know. It was slow as hell for some reason. You know what it is, bro? I'm going to be honest with you. That's why I play Call of Duty. Mm-hmm. Call of Duty, you can play by yourself. True. Battlefield, if you don't have a squad that plays Battlefield, like a good five people that play Battlefield, mm-hmm. then it's not fun. Yeah, man. So, so you were part of the bounty hunter clan. Yes, sir. Okay. How deep are y'all? Um, they got a, quite a few members. They got a, quite a few members. Um, they're not very big because they, the way they're, you got to go through a boot camp to get into their clan. They're actually one of the top clans in clan battling. When it comes down to clan battling and TDM and hardcore kill confirm, yeah, they're actually up there. They're, I, I think they're number one in kill confirm and maybe number two or three in TDM hardcore. Um, but they they're all fucking amazing players, and you know, like I said, it's a process to get into bounty hunters. Um, you gotta go through a little boot camp. It's not like oh, you know, you're cool, you could join. No, you gotta. You yeah. gotta actually play with them for a while and show dedication and all that, and then you know you gotta have a a, a minimum of a two point KD to even be considered to join for the boot camp. Um, wow. Okay. Yeah. Shout out <clears> to <throat> the body hunters, body hunters, man. Shout out to y'all, man. Word, shout out to body hunters. And the what is it? The caca. The caca. Oh, like a motherfucking eagle. I know. I, know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at it. I was like, yo, what, what is this? Caca. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You, know, you got the, got the little, little, uh, uh-huh. I got stickers you. right here. Yeah, I'm God gaming. I got you. 
CGG, these are, uh, you can put them on your touch pads, on your controllers. And yeah. also those are going to be available soon, little skins for that. Okay, that's dope, that's dope. I'm going to be coming out with shirts and hats with my logo and different things on them and shit like that. Yeah. Kaka! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I want to shout out any upcoming um, events or um, yeah, streaming. Do you, well, there, there's a, there's do you, a couple of guys I want to shout out. Okay. You know, I want to shout out my boy, Void Clips. He's always in my streams. He's one of my mods. Void Clips, what's up? What's yeah, up? He's, he's been in my, he's been one of my biggest supporters. Um, he's He has the, the top view time in my stream. So I, literally, he's always there. Um, shout out to my boy Izzy Plays. Uh, shout out to Lay Down Topper, BR Macking, Smoke. Shout out to the whole Bounty Hunter squad. Um, if I'm forgetting anybody, bro, sorry. Shout out to you. Hey, shout, <laughs> shout out, out to y'all, man. Shout out to my haters. Shout out to the haters. Got <laughs> <laughs> shout, shout out to the haters, man. man. You gonna die? Uh, for your streaming schedule, do you have a set streaming schedule so we can give it to the people, let the people know what's up, or you just straight up notification gang? Because well, actually, you be on the you stream for. Oh, let me reset. Let me reset. When I first met you, you were on a twenty-four hour stream. Yeah. <laughs> twenty-four hours live stream on Infinite Warfare and uh, WW Two Beta. Man, salute to you, man. Thank you, thank you. Damn. Hey, man, I don't have a schedule um, because, you know, I'm a dad and a husband, so, it's, you know, I can't promise a certain time every day. Right. But I do stream every day, so you guys are more than welcome to be, you know, to go ahead and turn on your notifications. Turn your notifications it's usually, on, man. It's usually going to be either in the morning or late night. That That's, that's it's either or. Um and if I'm not doing nothing throughout the day, I might. There's times where I'll stream four times a day. There's times where I'll stream the entire day. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. you'll, you'll always find something out there, you know, from me. You know, so if you guys, you know, are new are new and you check me out, make sure to subscribe, smash that like button. Uh, make sure you share it. Yeah. Share it with your dog, your cat, your sister, your brother, your hamster. It don't matter, man. Just, right. You know, help, help me out, man. Help right. me out. And you know, stop being so stingy with the like button, man. Well, oh. you, why are you holding on to the like? Oh, I ain't liking that. Like it. Come on, man. If you like the good, if you spend ten minutes or five minutes watching the clip, and you you locked in for that five minutes, just hit the like button. Just hit it. Or if you dislike it, hit the dislike button. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't mind the dislikes yeah. or the likes, bro. They, it's all of you for me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, right. you know, I, I would appreciate the likes, though. I'm not going to lie. Nah. <laughs> but that wasn't, this wasn't your first 24 hour stream. No, no, no. You've no. done it before. I've done it before, and I've done plenty of 12s and 6s. Um, you know, it's hard between, you know, the streaming, taking care of the baby and the family. And going to the range because I do go to the gun range a lot. That's one of my my favorite hobbies. Um, you know, yeah. it's hard. It's hard. It's, it's a sacrifice to do to do the whole streaming thing. Weirdest, <laughs> and you if you're streaming, you probably encounter a lot of weirdo. Weirdest oh. moment during the stream. Ah, <sighs> bro. Greatest moment in the stream. That's so many. It's not even funny. Um, between you know, I'm not I'm not a homophobic or anything like that. But between the guys saying crazy stuff sometimes and and yeah, and, and just weirdos, bro. Like yeah, I've heard it's just some, some crazy some, stuff. Some, sometimes like my like my wife will be in the stream, so people start talking shit like, oh, I want to do this to her, this to her. So, you know, it's always going to be weirdo. So for me to sit here and try to, like, come up with one, there isn't one, bro. There's many. I'll give, I'll give you one that that's happened. Dude said, dude asked, to let me just, like, let me see your dick. Like, what the, what the fuck? <laughs> I would have kicked him, bro. Ah, that was crazy. I would have kicked him. 
you know, this, <laughs> I be having kids, bro. I be having kids, bro, watching my stream too sometimes. So it's like, you know, sometimes it's hard to check yourself, like how you talking and stuff like that. Right. Um, like, you know, where I grew up, you know, I'm when I talk, I say my nigga a lot. You feel me? Like, that's just how I talk. That's me. So once in a blue, you have that one person that'll be in your chat, like, so can you stop saying nigga? Like, bro, dang, calm down. I don't, I'm not racist, bro. It's just the way I talk. You feel me? Like, I'm, I'm saying it like my nigga, like, you know, it's not, you know, some people take offense to that. So I've been trying to, I've been trying to. Uh, yeah, me personally, I just stay away from the word entirely. You know what I mean? I, yeah, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying, bro. It's hard. You know, I'm, I'm about to be, I'm about to be 30 in November. So. You know, when you used to talk in a certain way, you know, I'm, I, I live in the suburbs now, but I'm from the hood. I'm from the Bronx, New York. You know what I'm saying? So, like, all my friends was Jamaican dreads, you know what I'm saying? With dreads swinging down their back like Rapunzel, you feel me? Like, I, I was the only Spanish guy in the crew, like, so. But yeah, man, I guess we, guess we gonna close it out, man. Definitely drop a whole lot of, a whole lot of game. Damn, see we can go, we can go for another two hours, man. But you dropped a lot of game, man. I know you got more. We have to do a part two. Yeah, game, we can man. do a part two. We can do a part two, and I'll show you guys some real Call of Duty shit. Show you guys a couple of guns and stuff like that. Right. You know, so I'll give you guys something to show you a real live MV4. <laughs> Damn. Hey, you know what? We'll we'll do it around. Let's do it like no no like December or something. like the end of November when once that WW two hits. We'll check in. Then. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. We gotta do that. That way, uh, I, I'll I'll be more into the whole World War Two, and I can give you guys more in depth. Yeah. Um, in depth version, you know, of what I think no about doubt. that game. Um, but hey, I, I appreciate the 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 opportunity of being in your podcast, bro. Thank you, thank you. And appreciate this podcast is made for killers, man. Killers and noobs. <laughs> we here for you. <laughs> we here for you. We gonna hold y'all down, man. But man, shout out your social media. Shout out your um, uh, your YouTube. Any social media that you wanna wanna put out there. Um. Yeah, you guys can follow me on Twitter at jhood one six five. That's J A Y H O O D one six five. Um. You guys could um subscribe if you like to um on uh, YouTube camp. God Gaming. That's right. You guys can follow me there. And I have a Facebook page as well called Camp God Gaming. This is Camp underscore God underscore Gaming, which is mm -hmm. also my PSN. You guys are more than welcome to send me friend requests on PSN. I accept everybody's friend requests. I do play with my subscribers as well. I do like a sub Sunday where I play with my subs. And uh, that okay. my PSN is Camp underscore god underscore gaming so guys make sure you check that out and become part of the Kaka squad family let's get it yeah make sure y'all check him out man make sure y'all check him out and, and and leave some likes man leave some likes drop some likes on that man's streams and uh you can find me at diddy onessis diddy onessis <coughs> gaming on youtube facebook and twitter Hey, check this out. Instagram, man. You got we got to get you an Instagram page set up, man. But um, you can find me at Diddy Onassis Gaming on Instagram. But man, it's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. This might be one of the rawest COD shows that you guys have ever seen, man. But one of the rawest killers that I've ever had the pleasure of sitting down with, chopping it up with. You already know what time it is. It's Diddy Onassis, aka Onassis. Kill him. Me and Camp Guard Gaming, we signing off. See y'all in the lobby, bitch. Cool, cool. <laughs> Man, I appreciate it, dog. Hell yeah. What's up? What's up? It's your guy, Diddy Old Nasses, aka Old Nasses Killer. That's right, the host of the COD Show podcast. I am your guy. What's happening? But check this out. I'm here today to welcome you guys to the Call of Duty World War II giveaway. That's right. I'm giving away not one, not two. But three digital copies of the new Call of Duty World War II. I'm showing love back to my subscribers, new subscribers. All I, have, all I want to do is just raise the morale a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Raise the morale and the awareness of this podcast because it's dope. It's dope. You know what? 
But check this out. It's so easy. It's so easy to enter this contest. All you have to do, all you have to do is sign up with your email, Twitter, or Facebook. All right? Now, this is how you get points. Comment, like, or subscribe to any one of my videos on my YouTube channel. That's Diddy Onassis. All right? YouTube, Diddy Onassis. So easy. All right? Got it? Very easy. All right? The, the person with the most comments and the most entries wins. That's it. Subscribe, you win. You go home, get a free game. Mess with your boy. And you get a dope podcast to talk about at work. That's right. Blah! I'm out.